All right, so the finished product is here ready to go. You'll notice I have the, the proof copy over here, but the full book finished and ready to go is right here. So we're going to click on the book. You'll see the title, and then the book will open up. Um, it opens up to the last page I was on, actually, so I'm going to go back to the course overview, and actually I'll show you the table of contents first. So we've got the table of contents, and then we're going to click on the first chapter. You see a nice image here and your text. More images and text. Okay, here's our first widget, uh, photo gallery. You can click on that and make that larger and advance through it using the thumbnails or simply um, your finger just sliding it back and forth. X out of it. And uh, the second widget here is a video that we can show. Again, you can make it larger by just a reverse pinch. So you hold two fingers down and pull away. And we can advance through the video. That burned to death. Okay. What about one on one murder? Well, there, there are good statistics because many. Click done. Okay. We got another video here. And we've got some links. Okay, some text and some information. Another video. And then a keynote presentation. And again, you can make that larger. And you can simply click on it to advance through uh, the keynote presentation. So here we're talking about the concept of geographic luck. And the big food surplus. X out of it. And now these are just some miscellaneous widgets. This is a quiz you can take. Ooh, I got the wrong answer, so I'm going to try again. I'll go with A. Got it. Um, an interactive map. You can click here to learn more about the, the, the places on the image. If you remember, I added that. And again, you can make that larger or smaller. Uh, an MP3, or sorry, an AAC podcast from iTunes. Okay. And then we've got, we can pause that. And then my son's favorite and my daughter's favorite, uh, the 3D virtual model. So this is a uh, medieval cottage. Then you can X out of that as well. So those are all of the common features that teachers will use to create their own iBook. Um, I'd love to see what you create. If you create a great iBook, please share it. Um, email it to me or put it on the School IT Listserv, whatever it may be. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial.